Well, as we told you three minutes ago, CMS unveiled its plans for graduations during last night's Board of Education meeting. Yeah, you could really feel it was a tough decision mm. for leaders and uh, even tougher for the students to hear. We have Eyewitness News reporter Anthony Castora live for us just outside of South Mecklenburg High School to lay out the plan and the reaction from the seniors. Anthony. You know, it's one thing to realize that COVID-19 cut the school year short for the seniors and they won't be able to return to their high schools, but realizing that they won't be able to celebrate their hard work with their peers in person is just gut wrenching. We now know these seniors will get a pre recorded virtual graduation video with speeches and the reading of each graduate's names with photos. They'll pick up diplomas during a drive through ceremony, and there's a promise for a future in person celebration once it's safe. In a virtual CMS board meeting last night, school leaders say they looked at Charlotte Motor Speedway and Bank of America Stadium for ceremonies, but there's no way our current conditions would allow a mass gathering in just a few weeks. Some students and parents say the alternatives the district came up with just aren't enough. It is clear, though, this has taken an emotional toll on these families and the decision makers. I wish with all my heart that it could be a traditional graduation, but the safety of our students, our senior graduates, their families, and our staff must come first. I ask everybody in this community to rally around these kids and pray for us mamas. This makes me very angry because I feel like the task force could have gave, could have been more creative. Now the district estimates more than 10,000 seniors are graduating and more than 100,000 people would want to take part in some kind of ceremony. The earliest begins next week and the challenge here, John, is that all of these ceremonies have to be the same. Yeah. Back to you. And there's just no easy answers here. It's just tough for everyone involved and, you know, you really feel for these folks. Anthony Castro, live for us. Thank you. Tonight